Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Audition tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about how to use the effect track to combine different effects and what's the uh, benefit of effect track and its procedural order of applying effects to our audio track. I've just put in an audio form in here and we're gonna play it to see its uh, db level and then we're gonna apply our effect on it that how you change with it. As you can see, its db level is about negative 27 and and something less in some top points than negative 27. We're gonna go to our effect track. We have already talked about the difference between effect track application and effects menu, effects application. This one is restrictive, this one is just the application of it. It does not apply any effect of this. You can just try all sort of effects on it until you click on this apply button okay so let's uh, first of all apply our first effect on it go to amplitude and completion and we're gonna apply amplify effect again and we're gonna increase it by 13 db okay so that the difference is clearly visible in the audio meter or the db meter let's play it and see how much it does this audio form waveform increase as you can see it increased from negative 27 to almost negative 13 or now that our sound has increased uh, uh, significantly with the amplify effect now we're gonna apply another effect in the second position of the effect rate. and we're gonna apply the R limiter at this time what does the limiter or R limiter effect do is that it limits to which a maximum amplitude that your audio will reach and then beyond that it will just uh, put a threshold on it and no more amplitude will be increased after that suppose we want to uh, put a limit of negative 20 db now what's gonna happen is that if our amplitude level or any wave or frequency in it went beyond 21 in which this case it uh, clearly does is reaches 13 negative or maybe 12 it will not reach it will not go beyond negative 20 it is the limit it's the ceiling of the roof for it this input boost is of course the input that you want to put into audio form that whether you use it or not the audio level db level that would be inputted in it the look ahead time is the seven millisecond that how much audition looks ahead in time to determine and calculate the application of the effect if you have audio form that has a lot of peaks and troughs you want to keep this as little uh, uh, this video as little but if you have a certain audio form you want to increase this for a more harmonic sort of a sound or composition to make release time is of course that once it reaches or notices 120 db and then uh, it applies the effect how much time does it hit uh, holds it it's 100 millisecond at that uh, for now and then after 100 millisecond it releases it, it release it if it does not encounter another amplitude of negative 20 b link channel is of course very clearly and self-explanatory it links the channels for example you are working with studio or a surround sound the left and right of a studio those are linked or if you don't want them to be linked so then the sound in them would be independent then one can increase and one can decrease this button i should also talk about a little because we have talked about the rest of the options in different effects it means the switch to the channel may be later if we click on it we can now choose and specify our input channels and output channels these two are for left and right it's for studio of course but uh, channels of uh, sound sounds can be also adjusted here this means that the sound from the left microphone goes into the sound of the left mic uh, speaker and the sound of the right microphone goes into the right speaker if you are for some reason unhappy with the sound of the left microphone and it is a terrible sound then you can specify that in both speaker the sound of the right microphone would go or you can say that you don't want any sound in this microphone speaker at all because or you can specify that the left speaker should not even have any sort of sound input into our 
uh, you know system or audio file you can of course insert them so here you can you know change then uh, mix and match the channels of your uh, you know mm, mm, you can change the mm, channels uh, the input and the output channels of your audio form if you have uh, recorded your sound with different channels and different microphones then and you are outputting them to different speakers and stuff like that so that process can be done in here okay i'm just gonna reset that let's go back and i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna turn off this effect once so that we can play this sound wave and you can see its limit is here and now i'm gonna turn on our r limiter effect and now let's see what happens to it and now you can see clearly that it has limited our sound at negative 20 it's not negative 21 negative 21 is video this side this is negative 21 20 this is 19 this is negative 18 as you can see this is a negative count which goes towards uh, 20 not in a positive way okay so it is limited everything or the amplitude level of our sound to negative 20 and nothing beyond negative 20 has been allowed to increase its amplitude or play its amplitude but if we turn off our R limiter again it increases but when we turn it on it uh, uh, limits it to negative 20 again but of course all these effects never takes effect until you uh, click this button which says apply then it applies it to your audio form and then you can save it and import export it to wherever place you want in your hard disk and stuff like that so that's it guys for this tutorial in this tutorial i just wanted you to know or teach you guys that how to combine and mix and match different effects in the effect track and how their combination affects your audio form and how their uh, procedure you know their hierarchy and order of operation or application you know affects their uh, you know effect on the audio form so i hope you learned something and this tutorial was useful for you uh, for using effect track if you already did not learn it with that said i take my leave for now and hope to see you in the next tutorial goodbye for now